Alright, g'day guys. I hope you're all doing really well. I just wanted to make a video to show you what I'm bringing with me on a backpacking trip through Europe. So my partner and I are going to be leaving in mid-June, which is only two weeks away, and coming back in late January. So we'll be there all through summer and into the coldest parts of winter. So I thought it would be interesting to show you what I'm bringing, not only for hot summers in say Santorini, but also for the cold snowy winters in places like Norway. All right, so let me show you what's in my bag. Okay, so before I show you what's actually in my bag, I thought I'd show you the few items that will live on my person at all times. So, a pair of underwear and socks I'll always have on, as well as a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. My boots, 90% of the time I'll be wearing these. They're the only pair of shoes I'm bringing. My watch and my three most important items that I really, really do not want to lose is my passport, my wallet, and my phone. So they will live in this little waist pack here, which I can just clip around my waist if I'm on a train or just going out for the day and want my items really close, not in my pocket so I can't really get pickpocketed and not really worry too much knowing that I have the three most important items on me at all times. Okay, so I'll put these away now and I'll show you the actual bag. Okay, so here is my backpack that I showed you earlier and like I mentioned, it's the Osprey 5.40 40 litre carry-on size bag. And the reason why I really love this bag is one, it's really lightweight. Uh, another thing that's great is it has this harness here. So this is Osprey's Airscape design, which has these really tough, solid straps and hip belt so that even when this bag is really, really full and heavy, I'll have no worries carrying it around, even when it's up, it could be up to 15 kilos, it wouldn't really be an issue. Uh, and the other thing that's great about this harness is that if you unclip the actual straps here and fold these away, and then you get this tab in here, and we zip up this part, it all compacts away and you can carry it just like a little of hand luggage. The bag also has on this side here, this nice zip pocket, which I can put my laptop in. It's really well padded uh, on both sides, so I'm not really too worried about my laptop getting damaged. And also has these little, if I can show the camera here, these little zip hole things, which I'll, I'll be putting locks through. And if I flip the bag back onto its right side, it also has this little pocket here which can just be for little small items that I need to stow away up in the top of the bag and get easy access to. And then obviously the main compartment, which has these little straps here, which I can use to tighten down any of my baggage. And when you unclip these, you get the main compartment, as well as this little slip pocket here, which has a drain at the bottom. So I can put my bathers in here when they're wet still, maybe a towel, water bottle, anything that just needs to be sort of chucked in the front of the bag and away from my main stuff, easily just in the front there. The main compartment, they have this awesome thing where it opens all the way up, just like a suitcase. So really easy to stuff all my stuff in, get in and out of the bag really quickly. Uh, no issues there. Also got this side of the bag, which has a little zip on it, a little mesh area, which I've got a plastic bag in there now. So I'll just put any of my really dirty clothes, I'll just pop in that plastic bag and sort of keep it sort of separated away from all of my actual clothes that are clean still. All right, so now I'll actually go ahead and show you all the things that I'll be fitting in the bag. So these are the, my two packing cubes that have all my clothes in them. I'll start out by showing you this one, which is my main one, and then my secondary clothes packing cube. So this is my main lot of clothes, and I really tried to go for a capsule wardrobe with all of my clothes here. So that means that all of my tops go with all of the bottoms, and then obviously I can layer up with a rain jacket or with thermals. So in this corner I've got four t-shirts, uh, and obviously the extra one that I'll be wearing when I go. I've got a pair of lightweight jogger sort of track pants that I can wear when it's a bit colder and I just want to lounge around. 
I've got a pair, an extra pair of shorts. So I can swim in these, I can walk about in these. They're sort of just everyday shorts. And they're the same as the shorts I showed you earlier, except these are navy blue. Uh, my other pair of bottoms I have is my main pair of pants. These are the Kathmandu flight pants. So they look sort of like a, a jean, um, but they're really comfortable. Uh, they're quick drying. Um, and I should be able to get a lot of use out of these pretty much every day wearing these, these pants. Um, top wise, I have this nicer button up. I've also got a rain jacket from North Face. And then down here, I've got a set of thermals. So I've got two thermal tops and a thermal bottom that I can obviously chuck on and layer when it gets really cold. The goal is to be able to have as little clothes as possible without looking like I'm wearing the same thing every day and also be able to really dress up or dress down. If I really just want to chill out, like I'm just at a hotel or a hostel, I can chuck on uh, these trackies and a t-shirt um, and my jumper that I have in another bag and just chill out. Uh, if it's summery and hot, I can wear my shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, if I want to dress up for a nicer dinner, I can clean up my boots a bit, chuck on these nicer pants, this nicer top and uh, look decent. And if it is cold, I can put a thermal underneath this top. But even when I'm at home, this is pretty much all I would need to go through a week. And that brings me to my next point, which is packing like I'm only going for a week. So obviously I can wash all of my t-shirts, my underwear, my socks, all of that can be washed. Um, and so it's pretty much just going through a weekly cycle, maybe week and a half, two weeks, I could probably get through with all of these clothes. Okay, so this is the second clothes packing cube uh, and in it I have more of my cold gear stuff. So this is my lightweight fleece from the North Face uh, and also continuing on my cold gear, my hooded puffer jacket from MacPack, which just packs down to this nice little sausage that I can just tuck away really nicely into my bag. Uh, I've also got in here my towel, my compact little towel for when I need to go to the beach or if they want to charge extra for a towel at a hostel or at a hotel, I'd just rather use that. Also have my pack and go little backpack, so that unfolds into a little day pack. And obviously as you can see, really small, just fits nicely in all my other gear. And here is my socks and underwear. So I've got six pairs of socks and six pairs of underwear in here, plus the ones I'll be wearing. So seven pairs of each should be plenty to get me through a week. Also worth uh, pointing out that with this uh, puffer jacket, this fleece uh, and the thermals and that rain jacket I showed you earlier, I can layer up all of that gear to be really, really, really warm. So when it gets super cold, uh, I can chuck on a pair of thermals, then I can chuck on a uh, pants, t-shirt, over the top of the t-shirt would go this fleece here, and then over the fleece I'd go this puffer jacket, and then over the puffer jacket goes the raincoat wind sheeter. Um, and obviously that should keep me pretty toasty. Here I've got all of my toiletries. Uh, there's not a lot there. I don't really have a lot of toiletries when I travel. Uh, I'll take it apart and show you what's in here. So in my little toiletry bag, which is just a clear waterproof bag for customs, I have a body wash, a deodorant, uh, my trimmer for my beard, plus the attachments that I need and a little comb, uh, my toothbrush and toothpaste, nail clipper, and a little first aid kit. And my partner will be carrying our shampoo and conditioner and obviously me, our toothpaste and nail clippers. So we've got a sort of spread across two people rather than bringing two toothpastes, two shampoos, two conditioners. Okay, so here's all the tech gear that I'll be bringing with me. So starting off with my laptop and laptop sleeve. Here I've got my wall charger. So I've gone with something that's got heaps of ports and lots of wattage so I can charge my phone, my laptop, all my gear just with one cable rather than having to need like a power strip with all my Australian plugs in it. So that means I only need two power adapters. So one is for Europe and one is for the UK. Here I've got just a little power bank just for when I need to charge my phone on the go or my camera 
any little things, just good to have that as backup. Got my GoPro here, you wanna film anything in water, or maybe if I go diving as well, I've got my dive case on there. Earphones, wireless earphones that I'll use if I'm on a flight or on a train or whatever. Just nice to have those. Here's my AirTag, which uh, is an awesome thing, I reckon. So you just chuck that in your bag and then if your luggage gets lost, you know where it is. If someone pinches your bags, you know where they are if you wanna chase them down or something, maybe that's not the best advice. Here I've got my hard drive, just a one terabyte SSD Samsung one. Here I've got my drone and drone remote. Underneath that I have my tripod, it's the little fold out one that I can use with my GoPro or with my camera that I've, I'm filming this with. That just pops out so you get a bit of height with it. And I've got a little adapter there for a camera as well as I can take that off and just use it as a GoPro mount. Here's a little backup battery uh, case. Uh, for my camera that I'm filming this with now. Also got my little GoPro hard case, which is just good to put my drone in and anything else that's, um, I don't want to get damaged or squished. So my hard drive um, or my GoPro as well, my all could probably live in there. Down this corner is just a mess of cables and I need to charge everything. And then this is the bag that all of this stuff lives in. Obviously not my laptop, but all this other stuff fits into this bag nicely. And the final thing to talk about are the loose things in my bag. So obviously a hat and sunglasses, good to have when it's all summery over there. Uh, I've got a few carabiners, which I clip to the outside of my bag, which means I can carry, I can carry my boots on the outside of my bag or a towel or a wet pair of clothes. It just gives me more ways to carry things. I've also got three locks. So these two here, are my bag locks. They're just little combination locks to stop people from getting into my bag. One on the laptop compartment and one on the main compartment. And then a padlock that's keyed uh, so we can use lockers at hostels. Also have this little travel neck pillow which you blow up and it works just like a normal neck pillow but a lot less space in your bag. Also have an eye mask when we want to sleep on trains or if it's a bit bright in a hostel. A uh, face mask as you never know when you're going to be required to wear it and just good to have. A collapsible little keep cup so if we want to save a bit of money make a instant coffee at a hostel this just pops open and you have a little coffee cup to use with a lid if you need it um, and it's great just to have that we want to save a bit of money and not spend, I don't know, 10 euros on a coffee somewhere. Also have a pair of flip-flops. So when we're down at the beach, that's obviously going to be using these. Um, and then in showers, in hostels and in some hotels, if it's shared bathrooms, good to, to have these on. And last but not least, a water bottle. All right, so this is everything I have now on my back. It's all in there and it's really comfortable. Got these really supportive straps that go down here and all the way back to here and then your sternum strap across the front here too so that really just holds that forward and then that hip strap down here really takes the weight off your shoulders and just puts it onto your hips and all through your back so the only time that i won't have everything in this bag is when i get on a flight uh, and that's because with flights around europe between cities i don't want to spend all that money on a check-in bag as it gets pretty expensive. So I've just gone for the cabin bag option, uh, but that means that this bag needs to weigh 10 kilos. Right now it's 13.1 uh, kilos, uh, which isn't too much of an issue because I have my little day pack, which I can fold out and use that as my personal item bag and very easily move three kilos or three or four kilos into that bag uh, with my laptop and some of my tech gear. So I'll show you that now, what that looks like when I've got it actually on the front here. All right, there we go. So that's my little day pack there. It's got my laptop and all my tech gear in it. And I can just chuck it on the front, just like that. It's also nice having it in front of me so I can feel safe knowing that I've got all my expensive gear in front of me where I can see it rather than on my back. All right, that's uh, it for this video. I hope that you found it uh, interesting or entertaining and uh, Stay tuned as well because we've got plenty more videos coming. We're gonna film lots while we're over in Europe and uh, my partner Holly will also film a video in what she's bringing on the trip too. So cheers for watching and uh, I'll see you guys around.